Greetings and welcome to the last newsletter of this half term. I can't quite believe that we've reached the half term or point already, but what a roller coaster of a term we've had, packed with events, packed with achievements and wonderful learning for our learners and for our community. This week has been as busy as ever, starting with a very well attended inclusion coffee morning, focusing on dyslexia and the support of those working with dyslexia as they move through their education. This important and informative session was run by our primary and secondary SENCOs, assisted with contributions from Hugh in Year 4 and one of our parents, Miss Hazel, both of whom deal with dyslexia daily. A huge thanks to Mr Fenton and Miss McHugh, our support teams and parents who form the strong support offered to our learners working with dyslexia in particular. Sports events are further gearing up, with our under-12 boys football team winning their match with Suffolk Community School. Events in soccer, netball and cross-country see our under-13s and mixed relay teams competing as soon as we return to session, as well as the whole school participating in the launch of the 2022 Dubai Fitness Challenge. We welcomed our parents in during the week for two events, one for the primary parent-teacher meetings to discuss progress, as well as the subject's specific areas in secondary with Thursday's Humanities Parent Focus Session that also covered trips and the school's launch of the Model United Nations Society. Sustainability Friday is going strong, with the secondary school developing a variety of sustainability measures, including a recycling campaign and construction of the school's sustainability garden. The plans are impressive and student-led. They're also far-reaching and will no doubt significantly reduce our carbon footprint. Friday also saw our first EYFS art exhibition with a variety of skills and styles on display courtesy of our very youngest learners. A holiday lies ahead which is a time for rest and recuperation before embarking upon our next event-packed half term. Some of those events are on the list here. Diwali, Breast Cancer Awareness, National Day, a Winter Fair, music concerts and a drama production as well as a whole host of sporting and other learning activities. Rest well for the half term, as there is a great deal to do in the term ahead for all our learners. Before I close this week, I'd just like to give my and my team's personal thanks for all the support, good humour and feedback that you have given us this half term. It's been busy and it's been brilliant. And I wish you all a happy and restful half term. And I very much can't wait to see the second half of our term play out with all the activities that we have planned and all the learning to be done. Thank you very much indeed and do have a good holiday.